Welcome to Pride Rock for a new movie recap. Today, the recapped movie is an American thriller horror movie named The Lords of Salem. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe for more movies recaps every day. The Lords of Salem is a 1696 story. As the story begins, we see a man writing about seven witches. They worship the devil in the forest of Salem. He plans to kill them. Those seven witches are doing a ritual there. Their purpose is to produce demons from the women of Salem. The worst of these seven witches was Margaret Morgan. Then we see that it's Monday and we are shown a girl named Heidi. She is a host of a radio channel and she has rented an apartment for living. She comes outside to receive the newspaper, but she feels that there is someone in room number five. When room number five was empty for a long time, she asks if a new paying guest has come, but she doesn't get a response. The door closes. Then Heidi takes her dog for a walk. She asks the house owner, Lacey, about that new tenant. As a result, she claims that I did not hire a tenant. Heidi says that I saw somebody only five minutes ago. Lacey says that I'll check that room again to clear your confusion. After Heidi left, she goes to check that room but she finds it locked. She comes back. At the night, Heidi was going to her home from the radio station. She finds a box at reception which was for her. She didn't know, where did this box come from? It has a sound recorder in it and the Lord's written on it. She takes this box to her house. Her colleague, Herman, is also with her. After reaching home, Herman plays that recorder but he is unable to play it. But when Heidi plays it, it starts immediately. This tape recorder had a dangerous kind of music in it. As she hears it, she starts feeling strange. Right after it, we see a scene from the year 1696. In this scene, the same witches were carrying a baby out of a woman's womb. They take her baby, who is a normal human. Seeing it, they kill that baby. Seeing Heidi's condition, Herman turns off the music. She asks Heidi if she's fine. Heidi says that after hearing that music, I am feeling tired and I want to sleep. After it, Heidi goes to sleep and Herman leaves. Heidi was going to her room and it feels like someone is also there with her but she doesn't focus on this. The next day on Tuesday, a writer named Francis Mattis comes on Heidi's radio station. He wrote a book, Satan Leston. Its topic was Salem Witches. There, they play that recorder again, and Herman names it the Lords of Salem. As she plays this on her channel, Heidi starts feeling strange again. Heidi turns it mute, but it still could be heard. After it, their session comes to an end, and Francis asks that where did this recorder come from? She says that she doesn't know about it. Francis goes to her home and asks his wife about his interview. She says that I've recorded the whole interview. Francis asks, did you record the music too? She says, yes, I've. Francis has heard the name of the Lords of Salem before, but he couldn't remember anything. Heidi reaches her home and is going to her room. Meanwhile, Lacey calls her and introduces her sister to her. Sonny and Megan asks, Heidi to sit with them, but Heidi's dog was hungry so she goes to her room first. As she feeds her dog, a woman stands behind her, but Heidi doesn't know. Then she comes downstairs to meet them. There she gets to know that Megan can read the palm. She shows her hand to her. Megan asks her to control her mind. Gradually, she starts talking to her rudely. She misbehaves with Heidi and Heidi doesn't like it and leaves. In the middle of the night, Heidi hears her dog's voice. She goes to see it. She sees her dog standing in front of room number five. She takes her dog and leaves. The door of room number five opens itself. Heidi goes inside and the door closes itself. She sees a sign of a cross there. Heidi becomes hypnotized after seeing this. A horrible creature is standing behind her. Then we that creature coming from the front now. It feels as someone is coming out of hell. Heidi steps outside as the door opens. She sees Margaret Morgan there. She wants children from Heidi. Heidi opens her mouth, realizes it was all a dream, and goes back to sleep. Heidi takes her dog out for a walk on Wednesday. She enters a church. There, father talks to her and suddenly starts misbehaving with her. He says that no one can save you. After it, her eyes open and father tells her that she was sleeping here. She runs outside and sits. Then she sees a strange man coming towards her. He has a goat too. Suddenly, he also disappears. After a lot of searches, Francis finds a book by Jonathan Hathorne. It consists of five written pages. In that book, 
Jonathan named those seven as the Lords of Salem. It was written that Jonathan captured them on the 27th of September, year 1696. Margaret also admitted to worshipping the devil. They were burnt alive. At the last of the book, there were some music notes. These notes are played on piano, and these were exactly the same which Heidi found. Then on Thursday, Francis goes to the writer of that book and asks about that diary, on which he replies that I don't have that diary, but I've read it all. Francis asks that is there anything that was not in this book and you didn't read that. Then he tells about the condition of Margaret. When Margaret was being burnt, she made this condition that newborn daughters of Salem's daughters will be killed. Devil will also be created from them. Heidi tells Herman that whenever I hear that music, I feel something unusual. Heidi then starts coughing and blood comes out of her mouth. Herman gets scared and immediately calls an ambulance. Then Heidi sees some strange people behind Herman. One of those men touches Herman and he suddenly dies. Then they capture Heidi and operate upon her. They cut their belly and pulls out an insect-like animal from her belly. After it, she wakes up again. She couldn't analyze what was happening and what's right, what's wrong. Her mental abilities were disabling too. She starts taking drugs to get rid of all of this. On Friday, when she's taking drugs, someone knocks at her door. When she goes to check, those three sisters were standing there. She calls them inside. On the other hand, Francis is researching Heidi. Here, he gets to know the real name of Heidi, which is Adelheid Elizabeth. After some research, he understands. She's also included in the enlisted girls in Jonathan's condition. He immediately calls Heidi, but Megan picks up the call. She disconnects the call by saying that it's the wrong number. Heidi is unconscious and those three sisters were taking her to room no. 5. Lacey draws the same sign on that door, which was drawn on witches' faces. Except for this, this sign was also present on that recorder. Even this sign was also printed on Jonathan's diary. Coming to the door, they three pray and the door opens. They sent Heidi inside the room. Here, the inner side of the room is shown, which wasn't similar as we were shown before. This was a palace now, and right in front of Heidi, a strange creature stood. Heidi comes forward to it slowly. Her face is totally changed. A mark appears on her forehead which was exactly the same as that on the witch's forehead. Heidi comes closer to that creature, and two tentacles come out of his body. Heidi immediately grabs them. After it, the door opens and Heidi comes out in normal condition. Seeing Heidi, they both get so happy and make her sleep in her room. Strangely, that creature was also beside Heidi. After this, Herman calls Heidi, but she doesn't remember anything which happened that night. He says there's a show on our station tonight and we have to meet before this. But Heidi refuses him and disconnects the cell phone. Lacey is with Heidi and she's continuously watching over her. Then Francis comes to Heidi's home to meet her. Lacey was on the door. She says that Heidi isn't home but she was in there. Lacey asks him to come in and wait for Heidi. There, these three sisters start questioning him. Francis tells them that I met Heidi on the radio station. He says that I also heard the recorder of the Lords of Salem. I have some important information to convey to Heidi. From here, things get worse. Lacey misbehaves with Francis, but he ignores this. The situation was very bad. When he gets up to go back, Sonny attacks his head with a pen. He falls down. She keeps attacking him with that pen and at last, he dies. At night, Herman comes to take Heidi with him to the show but those ladies were there again. They stop him too. But Herman used to come here. He doesn't stop and goes straight to her room. She knocks at Heidi's room door but Lacey comes there. Before Lacey does anything, Heidi comes outside. But Lacey says her to tell Herman to wait for her outside. Heidi does the same. Herman is awkward. He inquires of Heidi, but she quietly closes the door. Then they both walk down the hall, leaving Heidi in the room, which closes. Herman was outside and on the stage, we see those three sisters again. They are praying to devil. Suddenly, those seven witches come behind them. That music is played here and all the audience comes to the stage. Heidi is in a strange world. All seven witches were present there and they are performing a ritual on lying Heidi. After it, Heidi's baby is born who's a devil. Seeing him, all witches become so happy and Heidi dies here. We are shown Heidi again, 
but this time, she's in face of a goddess. She's standing on many dead bodies of women. After it, a news comes that 32 women have died. Their dead bodies were present there Heidi's body wasn't there. She was disappeared. Here, Margaret's trial accomplishes. Devil is also born and the daughters of Salem's daughters are also dead. She became a goddess after giving birth to a devil. She has now become a witch and everyone will worship her as well. The movie ends here.